montage of me making breakfast? I hope so, because it was, um, it took very little thought. Okay, um, so it is about 5.45 or something like that. Um, Saturday, good morning. Uh, have the Lederhosen uh, half marathon. So, you know, when in doubt, there's a, uh, a race five minutes from your house, you, you do it. Uh, there's nothing else you need to do in the world, just do that race. Um, as you can see from my breakfast, I have about um, a quarter cup of oats with two scoops of protein powder and a cup of coffee. That's all I want. Um, the race is in like two and uh, two hours, 15 minutes from now, two and two and a half hours. Um, I don't really need anything else. Uh, I don't want food sloshing out of my stomach. Um, but you know, I'll drink some water when I go there, maybe during the race. It's only a half marathon, it should be fine. Um, and I'll eat a lot after, because tomorrow I think I'm gonna run the Ocean City, New Jersey half marathon, just to get some, um, some mileage in my legs before the marathon in a couple weeks. But uh, this is great because I live like five minutes from this race. I have a lot of studying to do, so I'll leave last minute, like 7.30, get over there and walk to the start line and, um, or run. But yeah, good morning. Oh, thought I was gonna start late because I was in the bathroom peeing, but uh, start on time. Hopefully, have some fun. Not too crowded today. Beautiful day. Uh, so see how it goes. See you at mile three. Well, about three miles in, feeling great. Um, problem with me in these small races is that when I see that it's not a lot of people, I get really competitive, thinking I could probably place. So I'm going a lot faster than I wanted to. Uh, so you can see not a lot of people around in a neighborhood somewhere. Pretty humid out, but I'm having a good time. Can talk a little bit, but uh, three miles done, only 10 to go. Just gotta remain uh, composed. So a lot of things I like to do in halves is uh, try to make sure no one passes me. It's just one of those competitive things and kind of keep you keep your mind up. Cause when your heart's tired, your lungs tired, your legs tired, dehydrated. Mentally, a lot of things can clock out, but if you pick a target in front of you like that guy, I tell myself, no one's gonna get to him faster than me, and I gotta get there. There's a saying, it's called eating the frog. It basically means if you woke up every morning and had to eat a frog, that'd be the hardest thing you'd have to do all day. It's a metaphor, obviously, but do something every morning that's hard that you don't like to do. Do your homework, study, make your bed, meditate, run. I don't know, do what you gotta do. I'm eating my frog right now. Very early in the morning before a lot of people get up. Eat that frog. Stay hard. Well, we're almost nine miles in. I'm uh, feeling pretty good. It's very hot. Not a lot of people around, but I'm having a good time. Just gotta keep it cool. Have about half a gel. Haven't had any water yet. It's not the greatest. Water's right around me and back over the bridge. Thank you. But so far, I've been talking to some cool runners, having a nice time. So I'll check back in. Am I going the right way? Uh, yeah. This is the exciting part right before you finish. Clock it. Almost at that finish line. Good job. Fuck hell. Why do I keep doing these things? Well, finished. Uh, got a medal. Um, finished in about an hour 50, uh, which is, again, it's like super slow for me, but uh, I had a great time. Uh, honestly, I felt sick this entire week. I had an exam, uh, just lifted too much. I think I'm overreaching a bit, but uh, no excuses. Come out here, eat the frog, do something hard every day. 
honestly, I was just thankful to be out here. And it was cool. Uh, the physical therapists who have been helping me the past couple months get over my vertigo were here, so I got to thank him at the end. Um, but yeah, I had a great job. Uh, great. I had a great time today. Um, I'm gonna try to heal up, rehydrate, drink something, eat some good food, see my family later tonight, and hopefully, hopefully run the uh, Ocean City, New Jersey half tomorrow really slow. Um, but got a medal, had a great time. So I love the, uh, the morning. Um, I love the mornings, but especially like right after a race when you have like the dehydration, the stomach cramps, your legs are kind of tired. I love that feeling because it makes you know that like you pushed it. Um, and I hate running. Let me tell you honestly, I hate running. I've always hated running. Um, but running to me is something that I can do that is very challenging. Um, so when people say like you're like a runner, I just say no, I'm a thrill seeker. Um, so I love doing things that are difficult. I'm just drawn to people who do things that are difficult, that are not within their comfort zone. And that's why I run these races because every time I run a half, I always feel like I've done that before. And then I run it and then I'm like, geez, like that was hard. Like if you really, really push it and you go like maybe like a nine out of 10 effort, that nine out of 10 effort can be the same pain that you feel with a 5K because you go the nine out of 10 effort for uh, three miles or for a marathon or ultra walking around the block or whatever is difficult for you. So that's why I love these races um, because it's just something where you can meet a lot of people and collectively you can overcome fears, overcome challenges. Everyone comes from different backgrounds and you kind of get people's stories. I was running with a guy today who was running his first half and he looked comfortable. He said his son runs marathons. We had a great conversation. All the people coming back from like obesity. Hey, you're on the vlog. <laughs> Whatever your, your background is, just do something difficult for you. Uh, for me, it's running, and I'm kind of gonna, I'm kind of probably gonna taper out of running soon, just because it's one of those things that I'm like relatively good at, and I don't want to be good at something because then it's not as challenging anymore. So I don't know what the next venture is gonna be. I'll run a couple more races this year probably. But other than that, I'm probably gonna take a huge step back um, and become a novice at something. It's kind of exciting doing something completely new. But uh, all in all. Thank you for joining me, if you watched. Um, I don't know if anyone's gonna watch this. Um, but had a great time today. And, uh, ooh, there's some water still there. But it was great, I got a cool beer glass that I'll drink water out of, got a cool medal, met some cool people. Uh, the race director was really nice, came up and talked to me. Um, but yeah, run half marathons, full marathons, 5Ks, or don't, it's up to you, I don't care. Just do something that's challenging, and uh, I'm gonna re relax the rest of the day. Probably eat some ice cream at some point. Um, maybe see my best friend at home. We'll see. Vlog over.